Hi, I'm going to be walking you through um, a quick tutorial on how I achieved a farmhouse look using DIY paint and wax. Um, what I did with this very dated uh, side table um, was sanded it all down and then I used half denatured alcohol and half water to clean it with. So I sanded the whole painted surface down and then I completely sanded this down because I'm going to restain it a darker color. Um, but um, in order to clean anything that I refinish, I like to use the denatured alcohol because it dries quicker than anything else and it doesn't have um, anything left in the cleaner itself that would play um, play a part in any anything weird happening with the paint and so um, I used Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint and to achieve this look right here I primed it with um, a light gray called Gravel Road um, and I went ahead and just painted the whole piece the, the light gray and uh, let that dry and um, a nice farmhouse white uh, wasn't available and so I made my own and so I used three colors to do that and I used white swan, faded burlap, and crinoline. And so what I did with that is I used one brush and I dipped in there um, just each color as I went. And I kind of kept in mind where the natural wear would be, um, the natural like discoloration over time. And so I was using like the darker colors on the outside of um, the corner, towards the corner of the piece, and then the white in the middle. And then I just blended all three of those together. And that really created a soft farmhouse white. And I wasn't so concerned with, um, you know, the different color variations, like I said, because I wanted this, this side table to be um, old and worn looking, but natural or old and worn looking. And so, um, after I let that paint dry, before I waxed, I, um, oh, and during, during painting with the DIY especially, since it dries quickly and whatnot, um, I always like to have a water bottle. The, those fine mister sprayers, um, they're great, but I just like to keep the paint moving. Even though um, paint strokes don't really bother me because I'm an artist, um, I do like to keep it just as smooth, unless I'm doing a texture look, I do like to keep the paint as smooth as I possibly can. Even though you can still see brush strokes in there, it's not like a glob of paint. And so after I let all these layers dry, um, and I say layers, but all the blended layers dry, um, I went ahead and I used a rag to um, do something called wet distressing with a DIY paint. You don't have to use sandpaper to distress it. Um, what you do is just mist a little bit of water on a work rag or whatever, and you just go along and anything, any place where it would be naturally worn, you gotta just um, either go down to your primer layer, which mine was a light gray, and I did I left that in some places looks um, looks really nice. And also um, on the corners, I went ahead and went down to the raw wood, and so I just. Just, it just varies throughout the piece and I was able to create um, a, war, a worn aged look with um, wet distressing. And so after that, um, I went ahead and sealed it with clear wax. And so I used DIY's clear wax with, for that also. And instead of um, just using the, the big bulk of the wax, instead of dipping my brush in that, I don't want to contaminate it. I do have a, um, an empty container that I used or a paper plate would be nice. So I just scooped that out with a plastic palette knife and I just put that in there and I use what's in there and leave this other uncontaminated so I can use different colors and whatever just in case something um, like I didn't want to have like uh, paint something dark later and maybe a little bit of this white was in there. So um, there's that and I let that dry. And then I went ahead, um, oh, I applied it with um, a wax brush. And so I, I like using wax brushes versus any kind of towel or paper towel because I would rather pick out um, a few bristles than any kind of lint because when I'm waxing something, I really try to push that wax into the paint. And so um, I just dip, you know, like just dab it in there a little bit and I use a little bit at a time and I work a section at a time. And so I'm doing circles like this, 
but once I get this whole drawer face done, and then I just smooth it out like that. And I always kind of just feel with my other hand lightly, just to make sure that I cover everything. So you'll just have a, a soft, smooth finish after that. And you can tell the difference between just a dry chalk paint feel and a wax feel um, over time. And so I let my clear wax dry. Um, and then um, I use these hard bristle detail brushes I got at Walmart. And you can see here, I've really um, worn this one. And so what I do, I like these right there because they are hard bristle and they're like a miniature wax brush, but I like them because they're small because I use detail work with the wax. So um, even though I'm painting something neutral, being an artist, I like to do something artistic with that. I get the DIY dark wax, dip it in there just a little bit. And I've already done this section right here. So I'm gonna scoot this over to this side where you guys can see that. And I work in sections with this as well. So this is a lot of wax. And so what you wanna do, since it's such a color difference from the white and this dark wax, I like to just um, get the bulk of the wax that I put on my brush off by going in sections around where the piece would naturally be worn. So what I do, I just start on the corners, and think about it as I go and I'll get all the wax off my brush to the point where um, it was just fairly very light after that and so I, I can also consider where the handles are going to be and so I like to like do a shadow around those randomly you don't want it to look so planned out and so I randomly do that but then, with the darker corners, I'll show you what I do with that in a minute. So, do the shading here, and then I still have quite a bit here. And so what I like to do, it's almost like you're dry brushing. So I kind of making the edge of my brush hit the edge of this dresser drawer, and that's highlighting where I wet distressed, but it's also um, leaving a shadow and worn areas where they would be already naturally through time. And I just soften the wax that I left on there by uh, feathering it out with my brush after I get the bulk of the wax off. And doing that with the edges actually um, creates dimension and interest um, without adding more paint. So you can actually be very artistic with the wax itself. And so to soften that even just a little bit more, I'll use the, the rag that I used to distress because it's still a little damp. And I'll just run that over over it as well just to soften it and make it look not so deliberate and so what your goal is with uh, the farmhouse look um, this could be also be considered print country or whatever you just want your newly painted piece to look like it's been around and that could tell a good story and that's basically it. So when I put the hardware on here, this will actually um, have a lot of character to it. And so even if it, like when I put the hardware on there, even if it needs a little bit more dark wax around there, like if I didn't get it just right, then I can just go back with my small detail brush and add a little bit more to that. So all in all, what you're creating is just, um, I can show you my finished piece right here. So I went around with this one and added peaks and more shadowing in the crevices on the top and the bottom. So I just did that throughout. So 
um, all the natural worn areas and then all on the on the drawer facing as well so um, it even has this little faux keyhole right there and so I'm really just pleased with how it turned out um, like I said I don't love to do neutral colors but when I do um, I like to do an artistic touch with them with colored waxes and um, I want to add also as with a DIY paint and with most other chalk or clay based paints you can make any colored wax that you want um, so you start out with your clear wax put maybe a tablespoon um, just for starters to test it out or whatever um, onto a plate and get let's see it'd be like a tablespoon of clear wax and maybe maybe like a half a teaspoon because the DIY paint is so um, color rich that a little goes a, a really long way and so maybe a half teaspoon of paint you don't want more paint than you do wax and so you can make what there's so many colors to choose from and you can create so many different things with that but um, I just thought that was a little fun fact for you guys that that are just just starting out with the DIY paint or maybe you just haven't got to that part yet so just be creative with it have fun and I hope you enjoyed this please subscribe and uh, we have more things going on um, on our Facebook if you want to um, look that up as well I'll post all the links and also if you want to order in the DIY paint if you don't have a local retailer to support um, I'd appreciate it if you can use my link Hope y'all enjoyed watching this. Take care and I'll see you on the scenic route. I'm so blessed that this dream of mine has turned into a family business. We're excited to work on new projects and to see where the scenic route takes us.